We got some data over here in Excel. We've got this uh, targeting system on, which I'm probably gonna turn off with the pink bars showing the active cell. Let's just do that right now. View, uh, focus cell, we'll turn that off. What we're gonna do with this data is pull up ultimately a bar chart where we can show revenue by consultant and then dynamically revenue by region. So toggling between the two of those, I had a viewer ask about how to do this using filtered views in Google Sheets, and you cannot actually do that with filtered views. Uh, filtered views is great, but not for this use case. It won't change the, the chart that we're going to be building. You can check out that video. I'll pin a comment or something uh, up on the screen where you can check out the Google Sheets version. It's basically the same stuff, but we're gonna build this uh, from scratch here in Excel right now. So all I have is the table. And the first thing that I need to do for, um, for our purposes here is we're gonna create a group column. And the reason we're doing this is because I wanna be able to dynamically switch between region or consultant. And then in our uh, chart that we're ev eventually gonna build with a pivot table, based on what I've selected, I want to display, like I told you, revenue by consultant or by region. So first thing let's do is up here in F1, let's create a dropdown list. Over in the data tab, we're gonna to go to data validation, click this, and we want to be a list of values right here, right? Let's do the source as region or consultant. So A1 through B1. Now we're gonna click okay. And then right here, we've got our dropdown list, either region or consultant. So this is gonna be the control, if you will. And let's just go ahead and make it look better. So we're gonna give it a little background color of, oh, I don't know, green. All right, so region or consultant. Now what we wanna do in our group column is say if F1 is equal to region, then we wanna display the value over in A2 because that's gonna be our region column. We needed to lock this in place. There we go. So uh, put the dollar signs around F and one to lock that so it's always looking at F1 instead of going down and looking at F2. And now anytime that's region, we're going to display the region. However, we've got consultant, we need to do another if statement. So let's just add ifs and now we'll go logical test two, which is F1 equal to consultant. Then we're gonna say B2. All right, and just like that, now we have a dynamically selectable little thing here to where we can have a group that is either the regions or the consultants, depending on what we tell it. Now we want to insert a bar chart. And in the Google Sheet version of this, you need to definitely create a pivot table and then insert a chart based on the pivot table's range. Here though, in Excel, it's a little bit smarter. It's got more tools. You know that, you're here. If you click over in the table anywhere, then click up here and say pivot chart, we can just create a pivot chart. We want to select the uh, table one, and then we just wanna select, oh, let's put it in the existing workbook so it's like right here, and then click okay. Now we've got our pivot chart. I'm gonna create this a little bit smaller than it popped up as, and uh, we've got both a pivot table and pivot chart. So to build the pivot chart, choose fields from the pivot chart field list. Are you still stuck doing manual tasks that you should have automated a year ago? Gottsheet is my free weekly newsletter that I created for solopreneurs and marketers like you to help automate, grow, and scale their businesses without having to hire a team. It's free, it's actionable, and it lands in your inbox every week. Subscribe below, gottsheet.xyz, link is in the description. Over here on the right-hand side, we have our pivot chart field list. So what I want are the group for the rows, not the legend, but the axis. So now I've got group, which is this dynamic column. So when it's consultant, it is the consultants. And when it's region, oh, that doesn't update. Look at that. So I've got to refresh each time. Oh, Microsoft. You're so good until you're just silly. Let's continue building our pivot table fields. So revenue is gonna be the values and here is our chart and here's our pivot table. Uh, only thing I'll change is I did want this to be chart type. 
there we go. So I wanted this to be a bar chart. We'll just do that. And there we go. Oh, so this is actually smarter than Google Sheets. It's not including this grand total and Google Sheets did until I told it to exclude that from the chart. So, the, you know, one point to Sheets and then another point back to Excel for doing things the smarter way. But this is how we can now dynamically-ish change between consultant and region revenue. We just have to refresh the pivot table each time that we do so. I would encourage you to go check out this video next. This is the Google Sheets version. And honestly, I like it better in functionality if you're just um, constantly switching and you want this dynamic switch to happen automatically and update the chart. Google Sheets does it a little bit cleaner. Now, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but for something uh, relatively basic like this, I do like how it works more than I like how this is working in Excel. I've never liked uh, nor cared for how I have to refresh pivot tables and they don't just refresh automatically. I wish that they did. All right, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please let me know in the comments below, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I also have a free newsletter, Got Sheet. We talk about automating boring stuff. We talk about spreadsheets, all the cool things. Uh, check that out in the comment below and I will see you on the next one.